It is well known that adding new parameters to your machine learning model allows us to add more scale and more functionality to our models. Look at this amazing graphic by Google where you can see how adding more parameters allows us to do more things. However, it is also well known that adding more parameters will exponentially increase the runtime of your network because every time you put in a network to input and output to train, it has to go through both forward and backward passes. With some having more models increases your decision space exponentially. But what if instead of taking the entire network and running it every time for training and testing uh, with ev your input, so taking all these millions of parameters, you took only a small subsection of their network and you ran that there and you ran an input through that. So you just figure out, I give you an input, you figure out, okay, this, this input would be very well suited for this kind of a, this portion of my network. And I will go there and I will specify it in that. Such a network would still theoretically give you the performance of a large network, would allow you to train for very complex tasks like a large network, but would have much smaller run times because for any one given input, you're only activating a very small portion of your neural network. This is really how our brains work when you think about it because we have our brains have different specialized areas to, to handle specialized tasks. This kind of neural network art activation is called sparse activation because we're only activating very small sections of our neural network instead of the whole thing. While this sounds like a dream, this has actually been achieved by Google in their new transformer model called Palm. You can see that this in a variety of natural language processing tasks, they were able to improve over the um, state-of-the-art algorithms and the coolest thing about this is they were able to do so without having significantly more expensive runtime. If you want to read more about this, learn more about what makes this possible as infrastructure because I've gone into great depth and there's a lot of decisions they take that can be revolutionary for AI, make sure you read my article Google AI Sparks a Revolution in Machine Learning. It will be pinned in the comment section below and it will also be in the video description. That's it. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you found it useful and follow to stay updated. I will be doing a more detailed video on the concept of sparse activation once I read through more papers, get through this idea because this is a very new, very new concept. So there's a lot of details being figured out. So once I do that, I will be sure to update this YouTube channel with a very comprehensive in-depth video. Make sure you're following to stay updated there. Make sure you check out my link in the description below. Uh, to sign up for my newsletter coding interviews made simple if you're preparing for your technical encoding interviews or and if you um, could make sure you fill out the survey i'll leave in the description below it'll take you two minutes it's completely anonymous and helps me make my video videos better videos thanks for watching peace